Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is time for another really big reading challenge because I want to quit my phone addiction so I have more time to read, to relax, to tidy, to do workouts, to just enjoy my life more instead of mindlessly scrolling social media. And this week, this challenge is going to be all about that. The reason why I want to do this is that because I realize that even with every spare second that I have in my day, I reach for my phone and I open either Instagram or TikTok and just do nothing on there. And I'm just sick of it. So. I have kind of created a bit of a challenge for a few days of this week to really focus on a few particular aspects of trying to quit this phone addiction. Of course, the first thing is to actually take a look at how much I'm using my phone. This is my phone usage from last week. So on average, I spent nearly four and a half hours a day on my phone. I even put some time limits, more about that later. Literally just press them away. Um, looking at the apps that I use, most of them are WhatsApp. Okay, I often use FaceTime on WhatsApp, so I don't necessarily see that as a bad thing um, because I'm not like actively using my phone or just like scrolling social media, but still. Instagram, nearly five and a half hours. TikTok, five hours. Google Maps, okay, I was away on holiday this weekend, so we had to use Google Maps a lot, but um, it's still a lot. Duolingo, an hour. Don't mind that because I'm learning something, so we're gonna skip Duolingo from that. But the main things are just Instagram and TikTok, as you can see. Five and a half hours and five hours, that's like 10 hours. I could read a book in those 10 hours. So I think my goal for the end of this week is to have an average of less than two hours a day because things like WhatsApp and Duolingo I can definitely use, but I just want to have an average of less than two hours a day on my phone and I am going to do it. I just need to do it. <laughs> so I have a little disclaimer because I do use social media for my work. I post things on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok as part of my job. However, I now only want to use those apps to create the content and not just mindlessly scroll. So of course I can like plan in a TikTok or a real video or something on YouTube so I can use the app for that. But the mindless scrolling has to stop. A thing that I am, however, doing is to not have my phone in my bedroom when I'm sleeping. And that is already such a game changer because I sometimes wake up during the night and I would use to grab my phone and then I would be awake for an hour. And that is not a good thing. I would never fall asleep again, like not properly. And I would just be way too distracted. So that's already a good thing that I'm doing and it's working a lot. So I will definitely stick to that during this week and forever, basically. I will also always try to have a book nearby. So if I do have a spare minute, I will not grab my phone, but I will just start reading my book. And as I said, a few apps I can definitely still use, like Duolingo, like WhatsApp, if I want to FaceTime, but the things like Instagram and TikTok, they just need to go down. So it's basically trying to get rid of my Instagram and TikTok addiction. I have already turned off notifications for things like Instagram and TikTok. Um, so there are not really that many more notifications that I can turn off. I will definitely um, quit the Duolingo notifications because I do play it every day already. So I don't need the push notifications like, oh, you've dropped into the demotion zone, play now. Because I already play it every single day. So I will turn off those notifications and I will probably delete a few apps as well because let me see how many apps I've got on my phone. I've currently got 152 apps on my phone. I'll be right back with you and I'm going to delete a few apps. I've deleted like 10. Oh well, 143 left. Um, it's not like I use all of the apps, so I'm just gonna, as I said, just removing notifications from the apps. It's probably already helping me a lot to not look at my phone, even though I won't necessarily grab it when I get a Duolingo notification, I still look at it and I also want to stop that. Okay, all the notifications have been turned off. I only still have the very urgent notifications on. So for day one, which is today, it is Monday. I thought this would be a good time to start. I'm going to start using the actual timers for Instagram and TikTok. And when I reach the 30 minutes, if I reach them, I will press OK and do not press ignore for one minute, 15 minutes, or just the entire day, because I often pressed ignore for the entire day, which is what we're not going to do anymore. My other goal for day one was to delete many apps, which I have done, and turn off notification notifications for many apps, which I have also done. So 
right now day one is starting i am going to stick to these timers just leave my phone here and if i need it i will grab it so i'm going to be doing some work i will be taking my book with me on the train because i'm going to be working in the swan market store which is a concept store where i sell my products and normally i am on my phone quite a bit during the day if it's a bit quiet especially on a monday but now i'm just going to not do that <laughs> and take my book with me. The book that I'm reading is called The Tall by Neil Schusterman, which is the third book in the Sight series that I have been reading for quite a few weeks now. And unfortunately, I'm not enjoying it too much, but because it is like the conclusion to this series, I do want to finish it because I started this series years ago and now I want to know the ending. So I will bring my Kindle with me to pick up that book when I have some time and also on the train. So let's start day one. I'm super excited about this video and I hope that at the end of the week my screen time will be like less than two hours a day. I really hope you're going to enjoy this video. Let me know in the comments if like how your relationship with your phone is. Do you feel like you also are on just social media too often scrolling too mindlessly? And if you maybe want to change that as well. So hopefully there are a few tips in this video. This was a super, super long intro. I am very sorry about that, but I'm just excited about this video. So I will keep you updated. I'm going to work now and I'll be back with you very, very shortly. It is 6.15, I just got back home from working in the store and I thought I would have a quick look at what it's looking like right now on my phone with time. I've spent one hour and 35 minutes on my phone so far with half an hour on WhatsApp because I was FaceTiming. So basically just one hour. I've only used Instagram for six minutes, TikTok for three minutes. This is already going amazing. I forgot to mention that I also kind of kind of want to focus on not picking up my phone as much because I often feel like I'm just pressing the screen to see if there is like a notification or something. Um, I also think that just pressing the screen already means like picking up the phone and I do that a lot. Let me see if I look at like um, weekly, on average 144 times a day. That is not okay. So let's see what it looks like today. 89 times. 89, why? Do I need to pick it up 89 times? Okay, I'm gonna put this away again, but looking at the screen time, it looks really, really good so far. This was kind of my day one challenge to stick to the timers on Instagram and TikTok, which I didn't even reach, which is really, really good. Um, delete apps, which I did ton of notifications for many apps which i also did and like making sure that i know how often i'm picking up my phone which i now also know for the rest of the evening i'm still just going to try to not go on it as much and then also a new kind of challenge for tomorrow which will be to start using my phone only after nine o'clock in the morning and stop using it after 9 p.m so i think tonight i might also already try to stop using it after 9 p.m that is like the perfect time to wind down and read a book or watch a bit of TV, um, but definitely before going to bed, just not be on my phone, which of course I'm already not doing because I leave it here on my desk, but still not using it after 9 p.m. will be a very good one. So I'm definitely going to try to do that as well. And because I want, like, I don't want to use it before 9 p.m. or 9 a.m. is because I want to incorporate more workouts into my weekly routine. It's very tempting to, when I get out of bed, immediately just grab my phone. But what I want to do now is use that time 
before 9 a.m. to just do a quick workout and nothing special. Honestly, just a very fun 10 minute cardio to just get my heart rate like going and get it up a bit and just wake up because I don't play or like do a lot of sports or I don't work out that much. So I wanted to try out some very simple, quick morning workouts to do. Um, a few times a week before nine o'clock in the morning because tomorrow I also need to work in the stall for the entire day from 10 to 6 so that will be a bit of a challenge to also not go on my phone as much because as I said sometimes when it's a bit quiet in the stall I tend to pick up my phone and now I'm going to try to not do that so I'm going to enjoy my evening cook chill read and I'll be back with you tomorrow Happy Wednesday. Yesterday again went so well with my screen time. I even was on my phone less than on Monday and I have decided to start reading a new book. A main goal of mine for this challenge is to just read more and focus more on spending my free time reading instead of being on my phone. The thing is I was reading the book called The Tall and I just realized I am not enjoying this. Even though I would like to finish this series because it has taken me so long to read this series, why would I read a book that I'm generally not really enjoying? And honestly, I'm just going to look up a summary of how this book ended. So I've decided to DNF the book. And then I went through my shelf to see which book I do want to read. And I found this one, Digital Minimalism, which had been on my shelf for so long already. And I thought this is going to be the perfect time to start this book. As the title suggests, this is all about choosing a focused life in a noisy world. And the writer Carl, Cal Newport gives his tips for really trying to detox your life, your social media life, and not necessarily doing a detox of like 30 days of no social media and then just bringing everything back, but really giving you these steps on how to create a more mindful and healthy relationship with like technology and social media and your phone and laptops and computers and all these things. So I'm reading this one right now. I started reading this one yesterday and I'm already like 25% of the way through. This is definitely helping me a lot in being even more motivated to make this work and to really create a lasting um, habit for not being on my phone so much and not doom scrolling. And even though this one is a bit more extreme, he's like, take 30 days off using your phone and social media and all of these things and then kind of slowly reintegrate some things in your life. Um, I'm not going to do that because the thing is, I am not going to be like doing it that extreme. Um, even though he says like, you need to do it the extreme way, otherwise it's not going to work. I do believe it might work the way I'm doing it. <laughs> so it is still very inspiring to read about some scientific things as well, what, you know, social media and using all of these technologies can do for your brain and for your your body and everything um i'm not going to do the exact like way he's telling me to do it but it is interesting to be reading this one at the same time and definitely have some extra motivation so if we look at my screen time for yesterday let me see one hour and 25 minutes i've been on instagram 21 minutes I didn't even go on TikTok, I believe. Oh, two minutes, but I never, I don't, I didn't even have to use the timers. So this is going so well. A, a thing I'm going to integrate from today on is to use the app Forest, which is this app, not sponsored by the way, but I just really enjoy this app, where you plant a tree and that tree will grow for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, however long you want to do kind of a productivity sprint or a reading sprint. And you should not go on your phone when you are planting a tree because if you do, the tree will die. So it really gives you this motivation to not check your phone for the next 20, 30, however many minutes. So I'm going to start using that app today to when I'm working like from home to not go on my phone whenever I have a spare minute. Also this morning, this was my third day in a row doing these morning workouts. I also actually did one on Monday morning. So every morning now around like 7.30 when I normally get out of bed and just start checking my phone, I will just immediately turn on one of these workouts on YouTube and just do that and kind of wake up my mind a bit. Then I feel like it's okay for me to just 
take a look at my notifications, see if there is something really important. And if there isn't something important, I will just keep my phone on my desk and start making breakfast and just doing some tidying around the house. So also today, I didn't check my phone or like properly open my phone until like nine-ish, which is such a good thing for me. I don't mind just pressing my screen, seeing if there's like an important notification, because if there is something important for my family or something, of course I want to be able to just use my phone. But if there isn't one, I feel like I can just stick to not being on my phone until like nine o'clock in the morning. I am loving this challenge so much. So today is actually going to be a bit of a work slash family day. It is 11 o'clock in the morning. I just filmed quite a long video for my YouTube channel and um, I think in an hour or so, I'm actually going to meet my mother and just spend the entire afternoon um, at my parents' place and have dinner there because I'll be working this Saturday the entire day because I'm going to an event where I sell my products. So I thought I could take Wednesday afternoon off to just spend some time with my family and relax a bit. So I'm going to try to be very mindful as well when I'm there to not go on my phone a lot and to just be a lot more in the present moment with my family and not on my phone because I feel like that will definitely improve the relationships that you have with people because you're much more in the moment listening to them more instead of half being on my phone which I sometimes did and I feel ashamed about that that is not a good thing to do so that is my goal for today to be a lot more mindful and in the moment when I am with my friends and family back it is actually a few days later and the entire week is already over so i just want to hop on here to give you some final updates on how this went because i'm telling you at the beginning of this week i was so super motivated and everything went well and really well actually and then towards the end of the week when i got a little bit tired sometimes because i just was working a lot and i felt like i hadn't really found the right way to relax at certain times that I was still thinking about my phone a lot and I don't like that. But a positive thing about this week is that I did manage to read quite a bit because I finished the entire book um, Digital Minimalism, which I really enjoyed. There were definitely some great tips in there, even though, as I said, his entire way of how he would advise you to kind of do this phone detox and then stick to it doesn't work that well for me because I have to use social media a bit for work so I couldn't like completely not use it but I am so much more aware of what social media does to your brain and constantly picking up that phone and how it's kind of like playing roulette with a phone because the moment you pick it up there it's always like will there be something new will there be a new fun notification and if there is not, it doesn't feel good. And if there is, it feels really good. And then the next time that is again, what's constantly in your mind, but maybe there is a fun new notification or a fun new something or a fun new video or photo on Instagram. So that was a really interesting part about that book. And I really, really enjoyed it. And I also started a new book, namely Bittersweet. This one is written by Susan King and it says how sorrow and longing make us whole. This is a memoir slash a um, more general non-fiction book about bittersweetness and how it's a very human emotion to feel and it's really really interesting. Bittersweetness is a tendency to states of longing poignancy I think and sorrow, uh, an acute awareness of passing time and a curiously piercing joy of the beauty of the world. It recognizes that light and dark, birth and death, bitter and sweet are forever paired. If you've ever wondered why you like sad music or if you find comfort or inspiration in a rainy day or if you react intensely to music, art, nature and beauty, then you probably identify with a bittersweet state of mind. I can really, really rec recognize myself in this. Um, so I'm enjoying this book very, very much and I've already read like over halfway of this book. So I am definitely reading more this week. Or I have been reading a lot this week, but I want to give you some final updates on my screen time. Last week, my screen time was an average of four hours and 34 minutes every day, with a grand total of five and a half hours on Instagram and five hours on TikTok. That is not good. I said at the beginning of this video that I would like to, my screen time to be below two hours. 
unfortunately that did not happen but my screen time for the week that I did the challenge was 2 hours and 32 minutes and that's definitely because at the end of the week there were some moments where I caved. Nevertheless, two and a half hours on average is still really good. Looking at how much I've used the apps, Instagram, four hours, still a lot, but TikTok only an hour and 15 minutes, which is very, very good. So I've only used it like 10-ish minutes a day, which I'm very proud of. There are also a few apps like Zettel, which is the app that I use for payments um, for my little card reader if I'm at events so things like that are on there as well and of course whatsapp I just use whatsapp a lot to stay in contact with my friends or facetime even though this challenge has not been the most successful I am still very happy with the results and how it made me more aware of my phone usage and how often I think about my phone and how often I pick up or like want to pick up my phone and I'm really focusing now on when I'm for example on public transport as well to not grab out my phone the first thing I do whenever I sit down on the train or when I have a little bit of spare time when I'm waiting in queue at the supermarket so those things have definitely helped me so this was a very realistic attempt at breaking my phone addiction I am still most definitely going to try to stick to this habit of leaving my phone out at my bedroom, not using it between nine and nine, and definitely sticking to the timers on my social media apps. I hope this video was kind of helpful to you and maybe inspired you to also try to become a bit more conscious about how often you use your phone and what it's doing for you, how it makes you feel mentally. I always find that whenever I'm doom scrolling, it makes me feel bad. And then I'm like, why do I do it? And then I still do it, like, why? So this week has definitely made me more aware of that and I'm excited to just continue this challenge forever, basically. Let me know in the comments if you've ever tried doing something like this, how your relationship is with your phone and social media, and if you maybe want to try out something like this as well. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you want to comment something, but you don't know what to comment, comment a sun emoji so we can enjoy the sun more and look up at the sky not straight at the sun but you know what i mean look up at the sky more and just enjoy being outside without our phones thank you again so much for watching i really hope that you're having a beautiful day and i will see you in the next video